I was going to do that. Oh, I don't know. There you go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF, you know, Impact Wrestling. And today we have Adri, we got, not, yeah, Aaron Rex, formerly known as, you know, formerly known as uh, Damien Sendell, or Damien Mizdell, or Macho Mizdell. Or Idol Stevens or Aaron Stevens or multiple ring names that he has used. Some of you people probably know me by my name as Damien Sandow. Also, you may also know me as Aaron Stevens or Idol Stevens or Damien Mizdow or Damien Macho Mizdow. But you also know that I am a former WWE Money in the Bank winner. Former WWE Raw World Tag Team Champion. for WWE Tag Team Champion. One-time TNA uh, Impact Clan Champion. One-time TWF Hardcore Champion. Now, Diva Talks has claimed that I had apologized to her. But we all know that that was basically... I just said it. To get her off my back. But. I do think. That. I'm entitled for something. Because. Regardless of what some of you people. Might think of me. I am. So. Well, here comes Commissioner 4 now. Well, Aaron Rex, is that what you're calling yourself now? Yeah. I understand that you came out here on Impact Wrestling for uh, some reason. I don't know exactly what reason that is. Um, yeah, I come out because I think I need that I should have a match that I should go for another belt or I should at least have my return match for the TWF hardcore championship with Captain America. Yes, I am aware that you are a former TWF hardcore champion and that you did defeat Captain America, and then Diva Talks interfered and caused Captain America to win the belt back again. Gave him some type of, you know, BS uh, thing about if he didn't use his uh, shield on you, then he'd be fired or something like that. But I can see what I can do, you know. I can see what I can do, okay? Yeah, well, you, you do that. And you remember in the meantime. Well, it's Freddy Krueger. And what's he doing here? Don't mind me, Commissioner 4. Actually, maybe you should mind me. Because I do play a role in your nightmares. This guy right here, Damien Sandow, that's what I'm calling you. Who cares if you were Idol Stevens or Aaron Stevens or even Aaron Rex. But this guy thought he was going to save everybody. He was going to enlightening people by wearing a, by putting a robe over himself and saying, you're welcome. But we all know what happened, don't we? You came into the WE in your second stint as Damian Sendell. Had some okay matches. Um, 
Then you teamed up with Cody Rhodes and became Team Rhodes Scholars until uh, until you betrayed Cody Cody Rhodes and he took your Money in the Bank briefcase that you had. Well, the only achievement you'd win at that point and threw it in the water. And then we all found out you had weaknesses. You couldn't win. Then we move a little forward because then you start taking on different personas. I don't know why. I guess because they wanted you to be entertaining was the excuse. And then after that, you became a stunt double for the Miz, but it looked more like you were acting more like a myth mythic actor, mimicking everything that he did. Until you and him had a had the falling out. And then you came and told everybody, oh, you were gonna be yourself. You was no more pretending to be other people. That was a lie. Because because eventually they end up teaming you up with Curtis Axel. Oh, you thought you were Macho Man Randy Savage version two. Or not or whatever Nacho Man Randy Savage version two. And then Curtis Axel thought he was what Axel Mania? Hulk Hulkster number two. He didn't really do that much as a tag team. So then when that didn't quite pan out for really you, they went back to making you what you were before. Then they fired you. Uh, or released you. And then Freddy Krueger said, you shows up in TNA, ran your mouth off about how great TNA was, about how they would give you the opportunities that WWE wouldn't give you. And about how being a one-time WWE Tag Team Champion and a Money to Bank winner. And about how you were going to accomplish more than just those two things. And then what happened? Well, let's see what happened, Freddy Krueger says. Can't find my hat in this bag. It's a shame, but it's probably there somewhere. And what happened? Well, you win the TNA Impact Glam Championship. Hold on to it. Then you lose it to some idiot by the name of Moose or Mulse or whatever he's calling himself. Whatever you want to call himself. And, yeah. So, Freddy Krueger, congratulations. You followed most of my whole time as a wrestler. You pretty much talked about everything that happened to me during my second stint in World Wrestling Entertainment. You also talked about almost everything that happened to me during my stint in Tone Off of Action Wrestling. But what you left out was, Freddy Krueger, about how I'm going to beat you right here. Okay. We couldn't find your hat, Freddy Krueger, but that's okay because your hat's ugly anyway. And I'll leave it out as a fact how I'm going to beat you right here. We're going to have a match. Here it goes for, says, Damien Sandow, or now known as Aaron Rex, bursting Freddy Krueger. Well, meaning the match got started now, and Freddy Krueger tried to, tried to take him in. You're, you're welcome. Oh, And Damien Sendell or Tyler or Aaron Rex, what do you want to call himself, had gotten in bear, was trying to be Freddy Krueger, was trying to insult him, well, offend him, I guess, would have been a better term. Now, wait a minute. Oh, the referee didn't see it, and then Freddy Krueger dropped him down. Referee keeps falling over here, folks. But now, Freddy Cougar trying to come off of that off the top of oh, you're welcome. And Freddy Cougar trying to make fun, trying to make fun of him. Wait a minute. Oh, Freddy got caught in the rope, all down. The answer is at. that. The elbow to Shane, as he likes to call it. He's getting ready here, folks. 
Here it comes. You, you're welcome. Oh, or whatever they're calling it now in Toe Non Sebastian Wrestling. I hope it's still you're welcome, but I could be wrong. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Aaron Rex. And Aaron Rex has defeated Freddy Krueger here on Impact Wrestling. And I guess Freddy Krueger, basically, in other words, was just trying, you know, to, uh, I guess Freddy Krueger was just trying to make up for the fact he got attacked by the Wyatt family and do what some would call damage control. Well, I'm here with Freddy Krueger again, Renee Young says, and I explained to me, why is it that you were attacked by Bray Wyatt? I don't know why Bray Wyatt attacked me, Renee Young. Maybe he thinks he's better than me. Maybe he thinks he's the evilest member of the United Alliance of Evil than me. I don't know. And to tell you the truth, I don't care. Bray Wyatt, you think that I'm afraid of you? Freddy Krueger says. You gotten it into your head that I'm afraid of you? No, just because I took a loss. Just because I took a loss to, to The Undertaker makes you think that I'm afraid of you? You gotta be kidding. So... Next time, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper and Eric Rowan and I guess now I should say Randy Orton. Anyone you free decide you want to mess with me, I'll be waiting. And Bray Wyatt, you call yourself the new face of fear. You say you're a god. But what you going to do when you go to sleep tonight? And I'm in your nightmare. Well, that was Renee Young's interview with... Uh, you know, interview of Freddy Krueger. Well, we should, and we saw. And we hope you enjoy, you know, and we hope you enjoyed, you know, this episode of, uh, well, we hope you enjoyed, you know, this episode of TWF Impact Wrestling. And we'll see you tomorrow for TWF Superstars. And we apologize for not being able to find, you know, uh, being able to find Freddy Krueger's, uh, Hap is probably in that flip-flop bag somewhere. See you later.